Hey y'all, today we're going to be talking about the few luxury items that are my, how do I want to phrase this? Things I never use, things I kind of regret buying, yeah, kind of ashamed of buying actually. <laughs> if you want to learn more about that, please stick around. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be um, a cup of coffee, skincare, fragrances, um, handbags, designer shoes, what have you, whatever makes you feel a little bit better um, and makes you happy. And sometimes that involves making some mistakes. So um, if that's the kind of contact you like, please like subscribe, share. I'm really hoping to get to a thousand subscribers this year. I've been on YouTube now for almost three years and a little over a hundred subscribers. So it'd really, really nice to get to a thousand, really, be, really, really be nice to um, get to that milestone. So help me get there. Thanks. All right. So we're going to talk about a few things that I'm kind of ashamed that I have. Um, at the time, I thought that they were good purchases. I did a video in November, I believe, similar to this, my five Louis Vuitton regrets. Um, this, I oddly, is mostly Louis Vuitton, but there are a few things on here that aren't Louis Vuitton. So um, let's get started. So um, the first thing that I regret is, and the, the really funny thing is, is I, these aren't even that high of heels, but I, I literally just turned 46, which is not old. I know it's not old, but I, there's just no need for, I don't, I don't live a heel lifestyle for as fashionista as I claim to be. I have never been about stilettos. I've never been about giant high heels. I used to wear wedges. Wedges were my high heel and I, you know, I would do pretty tall three, four inch wedges. But as far as a heel goes, I would rarely, if ever, wear heels. And I thought, okay, these are perfect. I really want some Louboutins. Um, this shorter heel should be perfect. These suckers hurt. It doesn't matter if it's like the four inch sky high one. I, I, it, the, these are brutal. I think he just is made for a skinny foot. And guess what? I ain't a skinny girl. <laughs> so these, these just do not work for me. I, I, out of curiosity, I think I'm going to go to a store in Vegas when I go um, later this year and try out just some flats just to see, just to test my theory here. But I just have a feeling that they're for a narrow foot and I have had a lot of unfortunate damage done. I, in fact, I just twisted my ankle two weeks ago. The dog took me for a tumble and I couldn't walk for almost a week. So I, I've just effed up my, excuse my language, effed up my, uh, <laughs> my feet a little too much and I just can't do it. So these are in a 39. I usually wear an eight and a half ish in, um, lady shoes. And these, I, if I can put them on for 30 minutes, I am lucky. Um, they're actually in really great condition. I've actually got the heel, uh, I'm sorry, the sole protector on them. So they don't have a lot of wear and tear on them. I could probably sell them. They're, I'm probably just going to keep them in my collection to collect dust and show off on my shelf over there. But I mean, I've got even some, you know, high street coach heels in their box. Because again, I, I put them on for like a job interview and then I immediately, um, rip them off. I've had these ones actually resold, but, um, I mean, these are even like my granny type heels and I can, I can wear these for a little while, but again, because they're the thick, thick heel, um, it's just, it's, it's just time. I, I, I'm going to accept that I am no, I'm no young spring chicken that can hop around in these and I'm a big girl and heels and big girls don't always work. So God bless you. If you can wear you some Louboutins with sky high heels. Um, and I work from home. I, they're not going to see my feet 
with the camera <laughs> down here. So yeah, anywho, number one. Number two, um, I think I admitted this in the in a recent video. I bought the little clay pouch um, over the holidays. And I kept it because, you know, everyone kind of talked me into it. But I've had this one now here, oh God, four years, four or five years now. And I was using it at my one job. In fact, oh God, I still have it. <laughs> They deactivated it, but, um, my ancient mag card is in here. Um, so I'd have my mag card right there and then inside here I carry whatever cash, um, what have you. And then of course keys, um, here. So for a while I would use this for that job as my like running around real quick. Um, but for the most part, I didn't, I didn't use it. And ever since I've changed jobs, it's been on the shelf and I never reach for it. It's just there. I, I have, and, and this is larger. So it actually would carry, it, it could fit more cards. It could be more versatile than the other one that I just bought. So I'm kind of, I'm really embarrassed that I don't use it. So I, I'm kind of torn. I don't want to, um, sell it because I like the color and I love that it's leather. It's got a ton of color damage, uh, color transfer and staining and things on it too. So, um, it's not worth a whole lot to someone else, but I'm just kind of ashamed that I don't use it. It's kind of like wasted money just sitting on the shelf. Number three. And I did mention this in my last video, but I want to go there again. Um, I'll take this out of its its package. Um, the wallets. I, there, I, I almost buy another, I wanted to buy, um, the zippy coin purse in, um, I think it was the bicolor on prompt. And I sit there and go, Nancy, hi, you, you don't touch this one. You've got this one in Epi that you've used like once in its entire life, lifetime. I don't use them. I know it doesn't matter how big they are. This is just slightly bigger than that one, but it's thinner. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I have this newfound aversion to wallets. I used to carry one of those, like the giant checkbook folios. I had if like five coach ones and a few Michael Kors ones of the giant checkbook size had no problem carrying them I had them full to the brim everything was in there every credit card coins loyalty card you know, everything or the sun was in that damn thing I don't know why but all of a sudden when I changed over to very high-end purses I have now been like nope can't get your wallet nope well nope 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 the most I'll do is a card case and I've shown you before that Felici um, insert is that is my wallet now. And these are just sitting around collecting dust. This one um, was one of my first purchases ever from LV. And it still has that strange smell that I can't get rid of. But I was carrying it for um, a few weeks, no problem. And I mean, it's got, again, color transfer and stain. But I just... I don't know why I don't, I don't use them. And then this one's actually really lovely. Um, it's got, you know, the card slots. It has this little um, like coin Percy area right here. And then a, another slot here for items. And I think right here's the bill. Yeah, the bill area right there. It goes with my Epi. Um, no way. Lovely. I have a pochette, Echassoir, and Epi that um, matches it. It's like my, you know, set for the, for the Epi purse and I never grab it. It's just, it's embarrassing. Why do I have it? Why don't I sell it? Don't know. I, again, don't know. Craziness. So a quick stop away from the SLGs. Um, the next item might not even be considered luxury. I consider them luxury because I had never in my life until the last few years spent more than 10 bucks on a, on a freaking candle. And 
I don't know what the hell has gotten up my, I've got a crap ton of Joe Malone. Um, I've got the Diptyque all over the place and I, I've burnt the Diptyque. The Diptyques have burned very lovely. All of these Joe Malones, I got to, I don't, I have not burned that gold one. I've got another one in, um, a eucalyptus evergreen, I think scent. That's orange bitters. I've got pomegranate noir over there. I, I won't burn them because of this one. And I, I think I'm just afraid. I'm like, what the, what is that? Why did it burn so crappy? And I've restarted it three different times and tried to get it to re. No, it, it just keeps turning into this mess. And I'm like, it ha was it the pour? What's going on? But I, which I find odd because there, the few that I've seen, people clean out the jars really well and reuse the jars for other purposes. So I think I just got a bad batch. And, you know, I did get them at the outlet, but they weren't that cheap. This was just saying, it was not cheap. So I don't know. But. I'm still buying the Diptyque ones and still love those, but the Joe Malone ones, I, I wish I would have not purchased them. And since I haven't burned them, maybe I'll gift them, re-gift them. That's so tacky, but kind of how I feel right now. All right. So these two next items are actually really embarrassing and I, I really wish I um, could say that there's a reason why, but there's not. So this one, it lives in its ancient dust bag. Um, and it was one of, it was my very first, this was my very first Louis Vuitton purchase. Um, my mini Lynn, sweetie. I haven't carried this since... Um, honestly, I do not remember. I think I carried, last carried it in 2016. It's a long time. A lot, it's been packed away a long time. It's stuffed. Um, yeah, I, I'm ashamed, but I, it's got, you know, some, it's been repaired with the fabric. I think I'm just afraid that um, it's going to get even more damage and need more repair. It's not the canvas. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful. I'm not, I, mean, I won't. It's beautiful. I love it. But at the same time, it's just not practical. Um, I think the main reason why I didn't carry it for so long is because, again, I, I always talk about my former job. I had to carry on my computer equipment, other things to track back and forth. This never would fit a computer in it. So it was not practical for work. And then on the weekends, I would want something with a crossbody strap or with a strap that I could put on my shoulder. Cause I, well, I do like to carry things in my hand and the crook of my arm. Um, this one just didn't seem practical. And knowing that I, I don't necessarily regret a speedy. I regret it not being a bandolier. So I know that I want a speedy bandolier if I ever get another speedy. So we'll see what happens with her. <laughs> Who's doing on his toy over there? So <laughs> ignore the speakies. Um, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. It's sad. But it is what it is. All right. Bye, speedy. We'll, we'll see you later. <laughs> Going back to bed. Okay, so last but not least, and I got this used, and I'm, ironically, I use its accessory almost every day. It's always in my purse. But this bad boy. The GM or the 27, I forget what the, the, the measurements are. The GM bucket bag. <laughs> I, 
it's not in bad shape. The Vachetta is not in bad shape as far as the body of the bag. Um, I mean, it's got staining and everything, it, you know, it's Vachetta, it, it, it is what it is. But the handles, that's why I don't carry it. The handles do not work for me. And they are incredibly worn. So yeah, the handles just aren't, aren't in good shape. They need to be replaced. And then unfortunately, I'll be right back. Unfortunately, this lining, and if you know anything about the history of these, the, the lining starting to rip. And I didn't want to risk any more damage. It's already so brittle in here. Oh God, it has already gotten worse. Just laying around, just sitting, just sitting around, it's ripped. Oh, that's horrible. So all around the pocket. That's just really, it's really depressing. This interior lining that they had. The, the slip pocket's in great condition. It's literally, it's peeling away um, in this area in here. And it's just so sad because it's such a cute bag. This is where the um, the pochette attaches in there. And like I said, I have the pochette in my purse at all times. I use it every day. Love it. For the most part, it's in really, the lining's in great condition. It's just a few little, small areas that interestingly yes it's where the it's where the handles attach that it's starting to peel away basically so i think the pressure of the handles is what causes this to happen so i'm just so disappointed that while it's a lovely bag and i know people think that things like this are a, a black hole i um compartmentalized so i had a little tiny organizer at the very bottom and i had my pochettes and stuff in there the, the various versions of it, that it wasn't a black hole for me. But unfortunately, I do not love the handles. And I was trying to figure out a way, a better way to make this bag work for me. Um, I don't know if attaching a crossbody strap instead to these might work. I just haven't had the time or the energy to, to play with it enough. And it's just so sad because it literally sits in its dust bag and sadly is deteriorating away. So it makes me sad. <laughs> makes me sad. It probably, it deserves a better home. Um, I could do better and I'm not. So these are the items that I regret buying. Yeah, I regret buying because they, they could have done someone else Someone else could have had more love and, you know, enjoyment from them. They just, they've been sitting in their, their dust bag and not getting the, the use and love they deserve. Oh, this is the canvas too. It's the good canvas. Um, it's just the lining. Not so great. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Take care, y'all.